We're in a very perplexing pickle here, because I'm the gladiator of goofiness, the savant of silly, so anytime there's a weird situation that's a bit wacky, people update me on it, and usually I'll giggle about it, maybe I'll make something covering it. But now, today, there's something that a lot of people seem to think is a really humorous, silly situation, when I don't view it that way at all. In fact, I view it as an extremely sad, distressing situation. It's everything that's been happening with FouseyTube. If you're like me with gray hairs in your beard, that name might ring a little bell in your cobweb-covered brain because it's a name that's as old as YouTube itself, really. He was around a long time ago doing pranks and all kinds of shit, and he was a big name back then. But he had a mental health meltdown that kind of caused him to step away from content creation for a while to work on himself and try and better his actual life away from the internet. And now he's come back as an IRL live streamer, broadcasting pretty much every waking moment of his life on camera. And it is probably the worst thing that could have possibly happened to him. His streams blew up. He got all of the clout he'd, all, he'd ever dreamed of. And he immediately became corrupted and poisoned by it. His broadcast went from the beginning being pretty wholesome and community-driven, like, fun stuff, from what I recall when he first came back. It was actually kind of cool to root for, like, an OG YouTuber stepping into a different ballpark, and he seemed like he was in a much better headspace. But then his numbers kept going up. And as those numbers kept climbing, so too did his ego, until he reached his absolute boiling point and crossed the event horizon of maximal douchebaggery. He became his own worst enemy. He would insult people if they were poor, his main insult was about people's financial status and well-being. He became completely corrupted by clout. He was like Gollum, with the One Ring ruining his mind. That was FouseyTube's precious attention. And as his mental health deteriorated, his online presence was only bolstered. People kept tuning in to see what wild thing was going to happen next. What kind of incredible loud rant is Fousey going to go on next, just encouraging this downward spiral as people shove popcorn in their face gluttonously consuming a man's mental health meltdown on stream. And it really started reaching its boiling point about two weeks ago. While on stream, FouseyTube was at an airport and met a woman and she was very clearly super drunk. She was hammered. And the two got to talking and eventually she revealed that she was actually the victim of human trafficking at one point in her life. And how did FouseyTube respond to that information? By apparently having sex with her in the airport bathroom. He came back on stream after like a 10 minute break, giddy. And he was saying about how he just joined the Mile High Club. Well, not exactly the Mile High Club because they are still at the airport, but you know, we just fucking boinked in the, in the toilets over there. And he was so pleased and then his community turned on him. They were like, wow, that's actually extremely fucked up. She's super drunk, and she also just confided in you that she was the victim of human trafficking. How could you have done this, Fousey? You just took advantage of this woman. This is really degenerate, unforgivable shit. So then he very quickly tried to, like, play it off as a joke, and he wasn't being serious. Like, haha, no, 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 haha, that did not real, didn't actually happen. Ha, you guys fell for a timeless classic prank. Get pranked. Epic style prank, not real, didn't actually do that. When it seems like that's exactly what happened, and this is, this is like Twitter in a nutshell with absolute unhinged lunacy. I did see some people defending this by saying, yeah, but he also raised money for her, so he should have been allowed to have sex with her anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. What they're referring to is, he asked his community to donate to her, and they raised like $2,500 for her, and that's apparently an excuse for having sex with an extremely drunk woman who also had just confided in you that she was the victim of human trafficking at some point. It's so alarming seeing people try and rationalize and justify it. it that is concerning. Like, that is just downright fucking alarming. But anyway, FouseyTube uh, did face backlash for that, but it actually only made him even more popular because it put... FouseyTube's mental health on a bigger stage for more people to see. So more spectators funneled in to watch the train wreck unfold every single day, because he was broadcasting fucking 24-7, basically. A lot of people just kept coming in to point and laugh at the freak show. Look at this crazy guy doing crazy shit. Everyone come watch and laugh at this guy as he broadcasts a very serious mental illness and as it continues to only get worse. Ha ha. And last night, he ended up getting arrested on stream I don't even know where to begin with this stream. I actually watched like the last two hours of it because even before that, things were looking really bad. 
FoozyTube had assaulted two people earlier in the stream last night after they had only lightly bruised his ego over very minor things. He had been yelling and insulting a ton of people. It was looking really bad. He legitimately looked like he was a danger to not only himself, but others. There was also some unlovable, kissless, virgin, loser, turbo, insufferable asshole troll that was calling and harassing FoozyTube's family and threatening their life, threatening his life, which of course only continued to push Fousey down this path. The, the troll was like threatening his family, threatening Fousey, which only made everything significantly worse, obviously. He ended up getting kicked out of an Airbnb and then checking into a hotel where he had a manic episode again and ended up calling the police. And he basically swatted himself. The fucking questions. Send the fucking cops. Send the cops. There's a gun to my head right now. There's a gun to my head. Help, ma'am, 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 ma'am. He left. Ma'am, he left. There's a gun to my head. Help, help, get them. Help, buy, ma'am. Intercontinental. What's my room number? Help, tell me. Twenty twenty. He spent like the last forty-five minutes of the stream in a panicked manic state where he was very afraid of that troll who was making threats against his family and himself and he ended up calling the police hoping that they could go arrest him and take him away to to try and you know fix this whole situation and it was only made worse because the troll kept kept pushing him like earlier in the stream Fuzi had apparently like fallen in love with this girl and she had like broke up with him and the troll took credit for it claiming that he had actually planted that girl there so Fuzi would fall in love with her and then she'd break his heart. So he mentions that multiple times in the last 45 minutes because he truly believed that that girl he met was a fucking plant from this troll who's controlling every aspect of his life now. Even the girl he had fallen in love with was actually on the troll's payroll working for him in order to hurt Fuzi. So it was this just very, very sad thing to watch unfold. And the police respond, obviously. He called them and said that, you know, his life was in danger. There was a fucking gun to his head. So the police do actually show up. He's a stalker. Okay, and who is this guy? I don't, don't know fucking either. know. So how do you want us to look for him if you don't know where he is? I have his address. What is his address? I said grab my security 20 minutes ago. You guys are dumb as fuck, man. You guys are literally dumb as fuck. There's conflicting information on if it's an actual arrest or if they're just detaining him because he is having this mental health episode. He was yelling and screaming at them and saying a bunch of things that obviously didn't make much sense. So, because he was so irate and so deeply disturbed, it seems like the cops arrested him and detained him and... I, I truly believe that that was actually for the best. I think if this stream continued, he would have ended up hurting himself or somebody. He was in a very intense, very manic state that could have ended very poorly. I watched this all happen live in real time, and there was nothing entertaining about it. People were losing their mind about how entertaining it was. W stream, this shit is amazing. Because there's such a disconnect from the internet, like the normal internet spectator live stream viewer, and reality. What you are watching is a very real person, FouseyTube is a real human being, having an actual mental health breakdown. A complete collapse of mental health. And people are just celebrating it and can't wait for him to come back and are praying that he doesn't take medication. He also mentioned during his stream that he hasn't been taking any of his mental health medication for the last two days, and he had apparently not slept for two days either, and people love it. People can't wait for more of it, and I just find that so fucking sad. I really do. I don't think there's anything goofy about it. Fousey is unfortunately not only being encouraged by his audience that's treating him like some kind of circus show, He's also being encouraged by other streamers in the real world that keep patting him on the ass and pushing him to keep doing this kind of shit. He is surrounded by parasites. These fucking leeches that are latching on to Fousey's ass like a goddamn hemorrhoid in order to suckle some clout out from under him. So, he's blown up from all of this. 
So a lot of other streamers have started trying to be all buddy-buddy with them, like, hey, we're such good pals, Fousey, you're doing great, let me, let me in your content. So they keep forcing themselves into Fousey's life so they can broadcast themselves to promote themselves through him without ever actually caring about him as a friend. No one is actually helping him get what he needs. He is clearly going through a legitimate mental health crisis. Fousey has been very open and honest in the past about the mental health struggles that he has. He has legitimate mental illness. And nobody around him seems to care. They only care that he keeps bringing in big numbers, which help them. There was a moment right before he was arrested where Aiden Ross called him and told him to like calm down and go to sleep. And that is more than a lot of other people in his life have done for him, but that is still, like, the bare minimum. Like, that is, like, very easy-to-do stuff. That's not help Fuzzy needs. What he needs is someone that's willing to do the hard stuff. Turn his fucking stream off. Take his phone away. Take his camera away. He needs to be disconnected from the internet, and he actually needs legitimate professional help. That's the hard thing that no one's willing to do. But it's what he needs. That is 100% the only thing that will help him. But no one does it. Like, again, there are, there are a couple people, it wasn't just Aiden, that are like, Hey, Fousey, just calm down. You know, go to bed. It's not that big of a deal. But that's not... He's not going to do that. He is in a actual manic state. He's not just going to stop and go to sleep because you asked him nicely. You need someone that is actually caring about him to take all of that away and get him to where he needs to go, to a professional. And also, a lot of other people pointed this out too, the platforms can also do something. Kick could have absolutely suspended the stream. They, they could have, and that would have been an invaluable help to him. It, but they don't, because he brings in so many viewers and so much attention, and that's what the world seems to run on these days. So all the people in his life and everything and everyone around him is just a yes man that encourages this destructive behavior. And it's only going to get worse if he's allowed to keep doing this without anyone actually stepping up to help him. I think it is fucking tragic. So I don't think it's goofy. I don't think it's silly. I wanted to briefly talk about it because I keep getting asked about it. Because so many people seem to think that it is goofy and silly. And I just completely disagree. So I, I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. That's really about it. See ya.